Hi everybody and welcome back. So today I thought I'd do the how many orchids do I have challenge. I do not have quite as many as a lot of the people who've done it, but I feel like for myself this is a pretty large collection. So we are starting outside, so if you hear the cars in the background or dogs barking, that's why. Um, we are looking at my Vanda Pearl Cooper, which I am happy to say is really working on that new leaf right there ever since I added the moss into the little orchid top. And next to her, I have my Phalaenopsis chileriana out here drying out a little bit. Um, I had her soaking in a bucket, so to make sure she dries out in that crown and everything, I do hang her out here for a couple of hours before the sun actually starts hitting her. And very slowly, let's go down here. We have my Cymbidium California Dreamin who is currently working on that new growth and that new growth. And I thought we would have another new growth right in here, whoops, right in here, but I don't really see anything yet. And I do have that skewer kind of there so she doesn't grow that way. I want her to grow up. All right, so let's head back inside and see what's going on in there. Okay, and then we have a Phalaenopsis soft clouds in this here basket who is working on a new leaf and she's got lots of new roots going down into that basket. And then let's just move on over real quick to this lovely lady here who is also a Harlequin. Uh, I just call her Harlequin. She has the smaller flowers. She's done nothing for a couple of, well, probably about eight months now, but that's okay. She's still nice and firm. She's still surviving in the pot. She's not going downhill. So she's just trying to decide what she wants to do with her life. Okay, so now let's go look at the rest of them. And just a quick look at our supervisor, Loki, making sure that everything is going smoothly for this production. So we'll just zoom in on those beautiful eyes and all right, well, Loki, keep keep a lookout, okay? All right, so we're going to start right here on what is probably going to end up being the Oncidium table. Here we have um, an Oncidium wildcat. It's actually two plants. It was one plant. I separated it, put it back in the same pot and I'm waiting for her to rebloom. Like I said, she, her blooms would resemble the Oncidium Wildcat series. Here we have the Oncidium Hilo Firecracker New Year that was sent to me by Nicole Deanna and has finished off her leaf and is now, I think, kind of resting a little bit, but I do continually see swelling down there at the bottom. And then next to her, we have our Sherry Baby Red Fantasy, again, a gift from Nicole Deanna and continuing to work on the two new growths that she came with. Next to her, or in front of her rather, we have a Wilhelmina uh, berry, Leatherberry Licious and these two new growths are continuing to develop. Probably won't bloom because it was very stressed when I put it in the pot, probably have to wait for the next one. And then we have a Phalaenopsis uh, or DTPS Fullers and look at those beautiful blooms and then we have our pinot princess uh, scary a wilhelmina and she is still working on that new growth i thought she wasn't doing anything but i think she's just extending up because she's getting taller behind her is another sherry baby i believe it's the sweet fragrance i'm not sure which one it is i have to wait for it to bloom but she is finishing off her latest growth and that is it on this one here and then we have our no ID Phalaenopsis Morgan. We have a no ID Phalaenopsis here. Then we have our Catatante Orange Kiss. Look at the size of that bulb already. In front of her, we have our Sherry Baby number three that I recently put into LECA. And then next to this one is another Phalaenopsis. And this is the tag that it came with. If I can get it into focus, it came with dots, black spots. I have yet to find anything like that on LeWeb. I even tried DTPS black spots and couldn't find anything. So if anybody has an idea of what Phalaenopsis this is, I would greatly appreciate it. And behind there we have our Pathiopetalum Melt Star that has something going on inside this mature growth. So I'm wondering if I might be getting a spike sometime soon. Like I said, this this is a mature growth that is in front of the latest one that bloomed for me, the one that actually bought her in bloom, as well as she has a new fan coming out back there. And then on the same bench, I have the Phalaenopsis Gold Staff that is in LECA. 
and the roots are coming out and that one root is going into the pot. And on this stand here, we have a soft cloud cakey. We have a Dendrobium phalaenopsis, no ID that was sold as a nobly, just waiting for her to bloom. Nothing going on with her. I've got my Dendrobium kingianum that is just exploding with growth. And then next to her on a separate stand, we have our Sherry Baby Big Mama. And then if we go over here, we have our No ID. Which one is this one? Kaleidoscope. And then we have a Phalaenopsis Tadia Blush. And then we have our Phalaenopsis Sunshine. And then we have our Zygonesia. I am going to put the name on the screen as well as the tag because she was identified for me in the last care collab that we did on the Zygonesia Zygopedlums. That is her. She recently finished blooming and is working on finishing off those two growths. The good news is with my Zygonesia Censure Dove of Peace, I will post a picture of what she looked like when I first purchased her or received her. I didn't purchase her. I received, received her as a gift. But she is putting on that new growth, so I am being very careful with that. Here we have our Phalaenopsis Velvet, and then we have Phalaenopsis or DTPS Lucky Sun with her beautiful mass blooms. And then here we have Peachy, who is finishing off that leaf there. And under here we have a Phalaenopsis Soft Cloud, and then we have Phalaenopsis Lose Berry. And then we have my new Phalaenopsis Cernu Servi Variation Chatolate. And I do have this here because I want this leaf to kind of harden off that way. And then eventually I'll let her lay down. And we've got to go back up here real quick, guys. Sorry, I forgot that we also have a Brassavola Cucolata right here. All right, slowly, slowly make you sick okay and then on this shelf we have another lark song that my daughter just recently purchased for me phalaenopsis um we have the cat uh the cat well it is a cat Leia, but it's the brassa lady a cat Leia fort watson mendenhall and back there we have the phalaenopsis sogo yakutan we have oh let me let me move the flowers so we can see we have our phalaenopsis speciosa red and then we have Phalaenopsis No ID Pom Pom. We have another Phalaenopsis Soft Clouds on a mount that is just doing wonderful. And noticed earlier today when I was watering the mount that we have a root going up underneath. So that is good. And continuing on with our Phalaenopsis. Sorry about the light glare real quick. We have Phalaenopsis Small Leaves back there. We have another Phalaenopsis Lark Song. I have Phalaenopsis No ID Pinky, Phalaenopsis No ID Spots, and then we have the Phalaenopsis Chinzing Diamond right here. And here we have our DTPS Winter Clouds Mendenhall that is working on her leaves. And once she blooms, I will show you guys the bloom so we can verify whether that is what that is. And then we have the really long, long name Phalaenopsis back here, the Phalaenopsis Pure Moon. And I'll post the name, guys, but she's got lots of growth going as well. And then we have Iris, who just stays in bloom, been in bloom since January of this year, 2021. And then we have um, Harlequin Splash that is finally producing a leaf. And then we have Phalaenopsis Pink Lump. And then we've got our Phalaenopsis Charming Green Sugar Candy. And then the three middle right there, this one, this one. And this one, uh, Phalaenopsis No IDs. I call them Rescue One, Two, and Three because they were in the same pot. And then we have our Phalaenopsis um, Baby Pink Cloud that I'm waiting on to produce a cakey. And then if we go to the shelf below, we have my White Cat Leia that resembles the Hawaiian song, working on lots of growth. Next to her, we have the, uh, this one has a long name too, the Potnera Dick Smith Paradise crossed with the Horus Mimixa. And then next to her, we have the Potnera Dick Smith Paradise, also working on lots of things. And then I have my Greek Wax Silk Ball that was repotted a couple of weeks ago. And if I can get in there, I want to show you guys something. Uh, let's see, get up under. 
me move one of these out of the way, guys. Sorry. Here. It's out damaging anything because we have some exciting things going on on that. Do you see those? We have roots. So that is a good sign. All right, and then next to her, we have another No ID White Cat Leia, but I am almost certain that this White Cat Leia is the same as the other big white one that I have that resembles the Hawaiian song. And then here we have our, uh, let me pull the tag. This is the Chinzing Golden Super, I believe. The RLC Chia Lin Golden Super crossed with RLC Hilo Grand, who's got uh, growth coming up. And then here we have our Brasidium Golden Gammon White Knight that is working on, let's get around to this side here, working on that new growth. And then we have our Epiladia Catlea Volcano Trick Red Lava working on a growth. And the No ID Dendrobium Phalaenopsis with the spike that will be opening in the next few weeks. And then next to that, we have the Oncidium Twinkle, which one Fragrance Fantasy right here. And then I have this one with the ginormous name, Catlea BLC Willinette Wong the Best, crossed with BLC Anse Mendenhall, who is also got several new growths. And then we've got the BLC Fritz Nicholas Spring Dance Catlea, both seedlings. And then I have my Brassavola Little Stars that has lots and lots of growth, still no blooms. And then here we have another twinkle is the white, what, is this the white fantasy? White shower. Uh, the white shower, her growths are just going all over the place. And over here we have another dendrobium, uh, Phalaenopsis no ID. And then last but not least on this shelf, we have the Brassolalia Catlea Dewey Forest, kudos. And then on the shelf below, we have my summer fowl. So we have our mini mark, and then we have our evergreen, our Yapadon evergreen. We have our Sogo Vivian back here. We have our Bellina Carula, our Sideria japonica, and uh, try and find all of, there we go. And then we have our Yin's Black Eagle. We have the Catlea Maxima. We have the Phalaenopsis dis, dis, delish, mm, Deliciosa, Mouth, mouthful there. Phalaenopsis Manii, Phalaenopsis Violacea cross back to sibling. And then I have the Catlea Seruna. Um, our Renanthera Monachica, who I have lost uh, one of the leaves that she came with. This one was already like this, but now I'm starting to get yellowing here, so I'm not sure if, what's going on with her, if anybody can tell me. And then I did skip this one earlier, but we have another bloom on our Hariella Retricola. And if you look really close, we have another bloom coming off of a previous uh, flower spike. And then on the bottom shelf, I have the Dendrobium Second Love, and then the Dendrobium Diane Shimu crossed with uh, Willene, crossed back with Serum Orange. And I did recently put them both in clay pots with some small bark, and that is where they are going to stay. I have been watering them um, every other day, just in the area where I know where the roots are. And then we have this interesting little Phalaenopsis down here. This was a Phalaenopsis that was recovering and now is producing its own cakey. So well, that's pretty cute. And then back here, we have our Tadia Little Pretty crossed with Zuma's Pixie. And here, ignore my little mess over there. Here we have another recovering Phalaenopsis that is, if I can zoom in a little bit, working on a nice new leaf. So that is great. And then finally, and then. let's get to this table here. I have the Phalaenopsis Tosico date crossed with DTPS Pure Moon, who recently was repotted into here and had a lot of roots cut off and is pouting, so she's going to be fine.
and then here we have our Sarai 2.0 Phalaenopsis No ID. And then we have Miss Wendy, also a No ID Phalaenopsis, who, if you can see, has a little break in that leaf. Well, that's because somebody dropped a mount on her. And then over here I have my Miltoniopsis Lila. I'll post the official name on there, I just call her Lila. And that was also a gift from Nicole Deanna that ended up being two plants in one when I repotted. And what I've been doing is keeping water in the reservoir for two days, emptying the reservoir for 24 hours and then putting the water back in. I'm finding that the cocoa husk is staying moist enough that she's not drying out, but I'm afraid of crown rot. Not crown rot, that orange rot. And I'm a little out of breath, so sorry. And then here we have another no ID phalaenopsis. And then over here we have the Potanera Montana Spirit Big Sky that was recently mounted onto here. 